Hello everybody and welcome to this new Audiofire video. Today I'm going to show you another exciting feature of Vesper, the twin step sequencers randomizing functions. In Vesper we can generate random sequences which behave a little less randomly and more like we'd like them to behave. There are two types of random sequences. The first one is the permanent type and it is destructive. We select the desired sequence lot, in this case I'm choosing the first one. And then we alt click on a sequence table and a new sequence is randomly generated, saved and ready to use. And it can also be recalled by pressing the corresponding key switch. In this case it would be C0 because I'm on the first lot. But this sequence behaves a bit too randomly. So the next one I'm going to do is going to be more refined. These two controls here, random low and random high, help us to set the random ranges within which the random notes are generated. Random low set the maximum interval for all notes below the pressed key, or you could say below the note on the first step of the sequence, while random high sets the maximum interval for all the notes above the pressed key. So for example, if I want to have only random notes above the note that I'm going to play, and maybe just a fifth above, I'm going to choose 7 for random high and 0 for random low. So Vesper will generate notes which have an interval of up to a fifth and all the intermediate intervals within these boundaries. Now I can do a different sequence with only notes below the key I'm playing. So I'm going to choose minus 12 for this and 0 for that. And then I generate by pressing ALT. So you can see that only notes with a negative value which correspond to intervals which are below the first step note. Of course I can do also variations and just mix and match. So I can do like only one tone lower than the note I'm going to play and maybe only a fourth, five half tones, which is a fourth, and then I press ALT. And I can also edit the result if I don't like it. For example, I can adjust the velocities and maybe just numbers here. These controls are present in both sequences. So if I activate the twin step sequencer, the red controls are for sequence A, and the blue controls are for sequence B. But you can link these controls by pressing ALT on your computer keyboard and then adjusting the random high value. So now I have 0 and 9 on sequence B and it's 0 and 9 as well on sequence A, the red one. Also I can press ALT and then adjust the random low value and then the random high will move simultaneously like a mirror image, preserving the same value relative to the uh, root node, so minus 6 plus 6. The other random sequence function is the temporary one. Let's take just a simple sequence that has only um, maybe a pulse, and I'm going to record this myself on sequence A. I'm going to switch off sequence B for a second. So let's record it. Maybe just put velocity up a little bit and it plays something like that. If I press B minus one on my music keyboard, 
the yellow key switch down here. Vesper will improvise following the rules that we set with the random ranges knobs. So as long as the yellow key switch is pressed, Vesper will improvise, but your original sequence is still there if you need it. So for example, I just want high notes. This also works if I play more keys at the same time. One thing to note is that if your sequence is not a pulse like this one, the random intervals will be relative to the intervals present in the sequence. In other words, let's say that we create a phrase like this. When I press the yellow key switch, and this is set up to a, an octave, The random notes that are generated will be up to seven half tones plus an octave on these steps where a fifth interval is set by the sequencer. And of course, all the intervals in between. You can also move the random ranges while you're playing. For example, I have linked them by pressing my right mouse button to my CC controller. And so I can play I can also have some fun with the key scale controls and make up a Phrygian mode sequence by choosing a C major here and playing an E note on the keyboard. Or maybe choosing a B major here and still playing an E to achieve a Lydian kind of sound. Please visit audiofire.com for more info. Have a great day. Bye.